All right, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Archihacks. And today we have a first ever kind of vlog style video. Uh, I'm just gonna go over my desk setup today, mostly my home office setup right over there, and my work setup right over here. So, yeah, and I'll try my best to share as much of my life hacks that I've accumulated over the years. So, yeah, hope you guys will find this helpful. So first and foremost, my desktop setup is, or my work setup is right over here. And I have an external monitor connected to the laptop right over here. And yeah, it's been pretty minimal. Um, I didn't find the need to purchase any additional equipment aside from this. Um, yeah, I have basic post notes right over here, work phones, and a bunch of receipts that I need to submit for expense. And aside from that, mouse and keyboard is quite straightforward. There's nothing too special about these guys. But um, what I wanted to focus a lot more is probably the stationery. So here is my pencil case right over here. And I wanted to show you guys a very specific sketching technique. So let me show you how it works. So normally when I start the uh, sketching process, I would pick up this uh, Perpetua graphite pencil. So this is, I don't know if you guys can see it. I can put it in the description if you guys are interested. It's like 80% um, graphite that's supposed to never run out. It's got a little rubber tip so I can erase. So I would use this like really light um, graphite pencil to sketch out basic shape. And once I have a outline of something, I want to um, fine line a little bit. I would pick up a Sharpie or Muji pen and yeah, start kind of outlining the sketch like so. And once I've done so, uh, and I want to like, you know, m if I've made mistakes, I would take over with like a thicker Sharpie and draw over them. And even when that's not enough, I would pick up this uh, whiteout, liquid light whiteout to draw over blackened sketch. And <laughs> This has been a really crazy life hack that I learned at uh, Architectonica Miami office. So shout out to people at Architectonica. And yeah, that was my basic like sketching flow that I love using. There's a bunch of other stationaries if you guys are interested. Um, I can go over that sometime. But um, this is something I wanted to share real quick. Um, I have a desk lamp. It's really nice for, you know, setting up the mood and... Especially in a place like Vancouver where it's like rainy or half the time. Having a nice warm lighting like this really helps. Oh uh, yeah, that's it for the work setup. So I'll quickly move on to my personal home office setup. I have some Lego collection here sent from my dear friend. And yeah, not too... Um, yeah, so this is where the magic happens. There's a lot more going on compared to the work setup. So I will try to go over things one at a time for you guys. Um, yeah, so first and foremost, the laptop is right over here. This is Dell XPS 15 from 2017. It's starting to show its age after, you know, years of rendering videos and 3D uh, modeling and uh, hoping to find a replacement soon. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know in the comments. Uh, the laptop is connected to the 32-inch monitor right over here. And yeah, I also have a little webcam right over here, which really helps a lot with the uh, virtual uh, meetings and any kind of online operation. And yeah, the keyboard is a pretty entry-level mechanical keyboard. I'm not sure what the model is, but I can also share that in the description if you guys are interested. And the mouse is a industry standard Logitech MX Master. I uh, first got this in 2015. This is like the very first version and it's still working just fine. So honestly, it's so worth the money. So if you guys are looking to buy a mouse, Logitech probably has a pretty good one for you. And as you can see on the screen, I have a Boyara, not sponsored. This is like a little laptop stand that props up the laptop. It's been really nice for, you know, angling the monitor at the right height and additional ventilation. So that's been pretty nice. I also have like a little, uh, what is it, scale ruler to 
get more additional space between the fans so there's more air intake for the laptop. And uh, this little remote right over here is a remote for LED strip. So if you guys see, just a sec. And uh, yeah, I can use it to put some interesting mood on. Oh, whoops. Huh. That's really red. Let's see if we can find a different color. Ah, oh, there we go. That looks more normal. Yeah, I used to have this in the video, but um, I just use it for fun these days. It's kind of nice and fun to play with. Next up is the speaker right over here. Um, this is a UE Boom, the basic version. Um, it's a Bluetooth speaker, and yeah, it really fills up the room and gives you a really nice sound quality, so I really like it. And the, the headphone choice of mine is the Quiet Comfort 2 from Bose. Um, I've been using Bose since probably like 2016. Um, their wireless headphones are really light and comfortable, as the name implies. And yeah, one time I had a um, bit of a uh, yeah, my previous headphone broke, and when I brought it into the store, the people replaced it for me. So love their customer service, love their headphone. Thank you, Bose. Um, yeah, big fan. And next up on our list is the Torbox controller. So the Torbox team kindly sent us this copy to review. So I'm I've been I'm happy to say that I've been using it for the past month, and I'm pretty surprised how useful this is. So here's a quick unboxing sequence to show you what's inside. Everything comes in a really premium feeling box, and the controller itself is nice and solid as well. Tourbox can be connected to your computer by USB, and it is compatible with most mainstream softwares, such as Photoshop, Illustrator, and Premiere. If you want to learn more about Tourbox, you can check out the link in the description, and you can use the coupon code ARCHIHACKS at the checkout to get $10 off. Um, as you can see, it comes with a bunch of keys like this and you can program these controllers to do anything you want within different softwares. So for example when I use Premiere I use the big dial to scroll up through the timeline and also the small button to replace the left click so that I can reduce the burden on my right hand. So as you can see this is like a pretty solid piece of hardware pretty easy to recommend so if you're looking for maybe a holiday gift for your friend, this could be a good choice. Moving onwards, um, this is the compressor mic that I use for recording. You've probably seen this uh, if you've watched any of our uh, Talking Head video. Uh, it's from Maono, pretty entry level, $100. I'm not much of an audiophile, so I can't really tell if it's a good or bad mic, but it gets the job done, so I've been loving it. And as you can also see, I'm a big fan of this like a little... Uh, desk arm thing. It's really nice and has a nice reach and stays in place. So I really appreciate that. I don't know what technology is behind it, but it's awesome. And the second arm holds the cell phone holder. Honestly, this is like a life changer when I first got this. Uh, I use it to just hold my uh, old phone right over here so I can watch videos, um, reference different things when I'm, you know, running out of the screen real estate on my uh, laptop and monitor. So that's been really awesome and it could be like a really good trap when you just want to like, you know, take a day off and lie down on your bed and watch YouTube videos. Just like turn it over right over here like this and just like, you know, watch for days. Like <laughs> your arm never gets tired and the video keeps going. Only thing that gets me up is when the battery runs out. But if you have a long enough a charger, you can just like connect it right into the little slot right over here. So yeah, you can virtually stay in your bed forever with this little arm. So it's kind of dangerous, but strongly recommend it. It's a super life hack. And right behind it are the tripods. So I use this tripod for uh, outdoor shooting when I need height and the gorilla pod for when I need flexibility. So yeah, these legs can like fold and wrap around things so you can mount it to like a little pole so that's been really fun and uh, I have a little printer set up right over here um, it's a inkjet but it's also an ink tank printer so ink tank printer is like a lot more fuel efficient version of an inkjet printer so the the dollar per page goes down from like so the regular inkjet is like 30 cents per page I think and these guys are like 0. 
like one cent or something like that. So in the long run, this is like a much more cost efficient option. So I strongly recommend you look into like a inkjet or like a ink tank version of printers if you guys are interested. Yeah, I found that it's like a good medium between like a laser and inkjet because this is affordable and the ink lasts quite long. So yeah, don't get scammed by those printer companies, guys. Stay safe. And uh, last but not least, I have a little box light that I got as a gift. Uh, it has a single lighting brightness and color, but it gets the job done. So yeah, it's been the bread and butter lighting setup for all the videos. I think that about wraps up the hardwares. I have one more thing I wanted to show you guys, which is the notebooks that I use. So I've been a big fan of uh, Muji notebooks for years. And quite recently, in 2020, I discovered this notebook, this planner actually. And it's been like a life changing. So as you can see, um, each day is divided by columns and it gives you a little box for each hour. And yeah, it allowed me to like plan my days really efficiently. And yeah, it made me really productive. And, but... <laughs> I wanted to find the 2021 version and 2022, but they're not making these anymore for some reason. Muji, why? So, if anyone from Muji sees this, please make these again. Um, in the meantime, I just made my own version so I can stay productive without having to rely on Muji. Um, let me show you my version real quick. So if you guys remember from just now, there's a slight difference between the two. So this planner has column for every day of the week, including the weekends. The Muji combined these two into one column. I don't know why they did that. So there's one for each column and box for each hour. And yeah, that's pretty much it. But the notes at the bottom allows me to keep track of the things I need to do and just not down whatever. And the little slot at the top gives me like a theme of the day if there's a big thing going on for the whole day. So. Yeah, also use that for that purpose. If you guys want this template, I can link this in the description. Just let me know in the comments. And yeah, maybe I can spend... Yeah, if you guys are interested in more uh, productivity or life hacks like this one, um, please let me know in the comments. We'd love to feature other things as well. So yeah, I guess that's that about wraps it up. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you guys found anything helpful. Let me know what your life hack is and share with the community if you guys are interested. And with that being said, thanks for tuning in today and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!